You're watching a Sony Vegas compilation. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Alex and welcome to a new Sony Vegas tutorial. It is Wednesday, it means a new video for you guys. And today I'm gonna show you guys uh, something that has been requested uh, a lot. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make an end card in uh, Sony Vegas because I made like I made like a tutorial like how to make an outro, uh, but that was just like put music underneath it and then just, you know, the end card. But I'm gonna show you guys how to like put the video, it's like two videos uh, in the boxes on the end card. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right. So so as you can see, we have Sony Vegas open as always. And the thing is, uh, you need to make a end card yourself because I'm not gonna like make the end card um, in Sony Vegas because that takes way too long. Just make a end card in Photoshop and make two boxes, uh, 920 by 1080, uh, and then just put them in the screen. And then when it's, when it's done, just wanna dra drag that in. So what I'm gonna do right now, boom. So as you can see, I made this outro and card for my for my well i used it I'm not, I'm not using it anymore but it's just like a few months ago and as you can see this is my outro which just looks like a normal screen but i'm gonna show you guys how to put two videos in the boxes two separate videos and then basically at the end that's how you may also make an outro so that's two in one all right so the first thing you want to do is you want to drag in your um end card as you can see and then you just want to drag in the videos you want to preview at the end of the video. So the first thing you want to do is you want to right click, create a new video track, and we're going to put the video uh, on this track. So just let we have now, uh, one, but I'm just going to, we need two tracks. So I'm going to make one more, a uh, separate track for every video. So let's now drag in the videos. So I'm going to like say like, I'm going to drag in this one like that. And um, this is an audio track, I don't, I don't want this, so I'm just gonna remove that. And as you can see, we have our uh, actual video, but I don't want like the intro, so I'm just gonna cut it somewhere like here. And then we're gonna remove that, and then we're gonna just drag it to uh, the beginning. And as you can see, I'm just gonna make it a little bit shorter, just as long as the end card is. And as you can see right now, the video is on top, because that means the video is too big. So what we're gonna do now is we wanna click on this white icon, as you can see, which says track motion. I wanna click that, and this is the part where you're gonna resize the video until it fits in the box. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it real quick. So um, yeah, enjoy. I'm gonna focus on doing this because I don't want I don't want them like to be exact in the box. That's what I'm gonna do right now. So let's do this. All right, so that that looks pretty good. So the thing we're gonna do right now is, yeah, there's one video in there. So let's play it back and see how it looks. So let's do this for the, the right screen. So to do this and save time and not like crop it again, you just want to duplicate this track like that. And then you just wanna delete one of the two like that but when we uh, crop the video into the screen um, we duplicated the track but so the the video that we're going to load in is going to be on the same place so it saves time to uh, crop it again so you just want to uh, drag in your next video what i'm going to do right now all right i'll make it as long as the end card okay that's it so now is the video on the same place because we duplicated the track but what you want to do is you just want to edit this by just go to the uh, track motion icon Click on that, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hop it over to the other box, as you can see, and then we're just gonna mask it until it's uh, until it's fitted in, which is like this. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Basically, when we play it back, the videos are both playing. Yeah, so basically that's how similar this, guys. If you want to see more of the Sony Vegas tutorials every Wednesday at 12 p.m. PST, just 9 p.m. CET, make sure to subscribe down below. And if you find this video helpful, uh, feel free to reward it with a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. As I always say, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. So until then, I'll see you guys very soon. What is happening guys? My name is Alex and welcome to a new video. It is Wednesday, so it means a new Sony Vegas tutorial for you guys. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to You see what just happened? I'm going to explain to you guys how to stop crashes, freezes while rendering, editing when you're dragging in footage. Um, so it drives me insane. I don't know what the problem is when I'm editing. I'm just like really into the editing and then boom, the screen turns white and then I'm 
fucked. Okay, so the thing you want to do to prevent this, um, the first thing is what I experienced myself is you do not want to drag in your footage. So let's say you have like a really busy project and in here you want to drag in another file. Let's say, let's say my thumbnail, just imagine that this is like a really heavy, like 1080p, 60 FPS, Canon 600D footage, uh, like really heavy, like two gigabytes. Drag that into your Vegas and normally it loads like two seconds but sometimes it just crashes. It keeps loading and once you click like this, it turns white, then the icon starts uh, loading. Basically, your Vegas crashed. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys like to do is never drag in your footage from the folder directly into your timeline because it can freeze while putting in the footage because I experienced this myself. The best way to import footage is you wanna click on, just on, click on file. You just wanna click on import media and pick your footage from here like this, boom, Eleni Halko. Just want to put it right this and just put this place it this one and boom there you have it you want to drag in your footage that way so this is the first way so the second way is a little bit more like settings related so i'm going to show you guys um, what to do to be able to stop um, those crashes so the first thing you want to do is you want to just gonna, you want to go to options and this is really important before you click on preferences you want to hold control and hold shift you want to hold those two buttons click it and then release it. Then you see this menu. You want to go over to the intervolt tab and you want to type in down below, you want to type in enable multi or just enable mo only when you see this. Okay, so as you can see default, it is true. As you can see, this is true, but we want to set this to false. Just type in in caps lock false and just press an OK. Now that's it for that section. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to go back to option and this time you don't want to hold control and shift. Just press on preferences and you want to pick the tab video. Okay, and then this menu pops up and you need to do exactly what I do to in order to fix it and manage to do this correctly. So we can go down to GPU acceleration of video processing. This is normally like your graphics card. You want to put this one to off. When that's done, just press on apply and press on OK. And the next thing you want to fix is just in the render setting. So in order to do this, you need to place something like video in so you can render it. So click on file render as and as you can see this render menu pops up you want to go to the tab which says sony avc mvc blah 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 and you want to go for internet 1080p 30p this one you want to just click on customize templates and you want to choose render using cpu only i'm going to press an ok and now you can start rendering so that's how simple it is guys just do those settings and i think it will not completely remove the the crashes because you never know um, but just also don't like run like extreme heavy programs um like in the background when you're editing with vegas because it might crash i don't know it depends on what kind of things you have open on your on your computer so make sure all heavy programs are closed and that sony vegas can take the full space of your cpu and ram to render properly that's it for this video guys so if you want to see more of the sony vegas tutorials every wednesday at 12 p.m pst that's 9 p.m ct make sure to subscribe down below if you find this video helpful make sure to smash that like button down below so i want to thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week so until then i'll see you guys very soon what is happening guys my name is alex welcome to a new sony vegas tutorial and in this video i'm going to show you guys how to pause your video because you have multiple ways to pause it and um, i'm going to show you guys this so you have like more editing comfort so let's say you have your footage right here as you can see and um we're just i'm just gonna show you guys how to pause your video uh, there are like three uh, methods to do it so let's play back our video like just this thumbnail as you can see now the view is playing as you can see so the first way to pause your video is just press on space because that's like a shortcut on your keyboard so it's really easy um, to just pause your pause your video with your thumb um, to edit so the next way to pause your video is underneath the preview screen you have all these options and you just want to if you just play it back your video um, you can pause it by clicking on those icons and that's how you can pause your video with your mouse if you want to it's really easy you know you can use your on your keyboard you can use this button and the last method is this you just want to 
just press on play of course as you can see right now the video is playing this is like a really easy video but i know the tutorials are really easy because i don't want to like ramble around for like two minutes so yeah i'm going to show you guys how to pause it the third way which is at the bottom as you can see the same icons you can press on pause and basically that pauses the video so that those are three ways to do it and you can choose whatever you want i always use uh, my space because i'm editing so I can just click on this, I can press space because I'll, you already have your hands on your keyboard. So that's my personal opinion, of course. But um, yeah, that's basically a really simple tutorial about how to pause your video. There are multiple ways. So if you want to see more of these video tutorials every Wednesday at 12 p.m. PST, it is 9 p.m. CET. Make sure to subscribe down below. And if you find this video helpful, feel free to smash that like button. So I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. So until then, I'll see you guys very soon. What is happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome to a new video, welcome to a new Sony Vegas tutorial, rather. It's Wednesday, so it's a new video for you guys and in this video I'm going to show you guys like how to edit like a boss. And you can understand that a lot of different things under like like how to edit like a boss. So I'm just going to explain to you guys how to actually just edit like a professional, like a boss, how you want to call this. The first thing is when you do, when you're going to editing, you just want to make that you are just editing with discipline. Because if you're making content like I, like I do, there are always some things you need to take care of in order to make the quality as the same as your previous videos or your upcoming videos. So let's say I'm just gonna drag in a, a simple video in here. I'm just gonna drag a raw recording of Adobe Audition into it. I'm just gonna drag it in, uh, as you can see right here. So it's this one. Okay, so as you can see, this is this raw and uncut. It is like, you know, me, um, like making myself ready and everything to to be to be able to record. So as you can see, I just pressed on record and I and I'm stand and I'm starting the video right here. So in this entire space, I'm just making myself ready. As you can see, like this. Hey guys, how are we all doing? And, I'm and then, then I just start. So every time I make a video, I always do brightness and contrast. I drag that onto the track, and I just pick one of my presets, the one that looks best. That's a little too light. Uh, this is perfect. Boom, that's it. That's the first one. The next thing you want to do is also you maybe use some color correction. That's what I do. I'm just going to drag it onto the track. And as you can see on this one, it is just, I'm just going to click this one. That's just my preset. I don't, I have the weirdest names for those presets. Doesn't matter. And then basically that's how your video is going to look and how they are going to look all the same, of course. Okay, so let's say this is just a raw uncut footage. And people have said, okay, I'm, I'm going to make a cut in here. And then I'm just going to start editing blah, 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 uh, because I see a lot of people like blah, blah, blah. And let's say the people are want to add like, oh, I want to add color correction. And you want to add it on this. You just want to pick the preset. And as you can see, you know, let's say you just want to pick the preset, as you can see on this one. And you're editing Doing and you're like, this is, is your Alex screen. Now. And then, to the boom. Edition CSX tutorial. And the most people forgot about the other clips of color corrections. So this one is really good and, you know, edited. And then it goes to an Adobe see, boom. They just go Adobe. back to the normal one. And that's something you need to take care of. And you need to notice in your video to be able to make the content just as good as you possibly can. Because I see a lot of people like also having one sound really uh, like this, one sound really low. And then j this one just that it's going to clip. So you just want to actually just m just make sure your video is consistent and not like this you're it's editing it's really cool Adobe and then you're just ignoring the color correction and thing and then it's CSX just going to change look and, and people are going to notice that in the video people that are watching this for the first time you want those to you want those people to keep watching this video and you can do that just by adding editing with discipline and make sure everything is is just consistent i say what you can do is you can just drag in the footage again entirely you don't need to stop editing but i'm just going to drag in the footage as you can see, as you can see, this really long one track. This let's see how almost seven minute long video. Um, let's say you just want to when you okay. So when you drag this in, don't start editing right right away because you're gonna forget certain things. So let's say because now everything is in one piece. So if you're finished editing and you have like five hundred different different pieces, you don't want to add color correction to all separate those. So what you can do is drag in the the actual uh, a raw uncut video. Don't start editing yet. Just go to brightness and contrast. Just drag it onto it. Pick your preset. I'm just gonna pick this one. Also pick your color correction i'm gonna drag it on this and i'm gonna pick this one as you can see boom and then that's gonna be for the entire video so no matter let's i'm gonna show you, show you guys like no matter how how much you're cutting it's all gonna be the same and that's basically how you 
it's not like added how to like a boss but just you need to add it like to you need to, i think because i want to recommend uh the things you need to do in order to make your quality as high as it possibly can and even though you can just write it down like color correction brightness and contrast then when you're done editing you have done everything on your list and then all the viewers are going to be the same quality and that's how you should be able to edit like a boss so basically that's it for this one today's tutorial guys if you want to see more of those videos every wednesday at 12 p.m pst make sure to subscribe down below make sure to smash that like button down below so i want to thank you guys for watching for the continuous support and you know con and supporting me till um the goal and i reached like getting verified in youtube it means the world to me so i want to thank you guys for that thank you for sticking around i'll see you guys next wednesday for a new video so until then i'll see you guys very soon Hey guys, my name is Alex and welcome to a new Sony Vegas tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to remove a background from an image and put another and put another um, picture underneath it or just replace the background. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as you can see, I have a blank Vegas project open and I'm just going to drag a picture in and I just want to remove the background and replace it with another one. So I'm going to just drag a picture in um, of myself here real quick. As you can see, right like this, boom, that's it. Uh, we don't, we're not going to pay attention to those black bars anyway. Okay, so the first thing you in order to remove the background, we just that's gonna call masking. So what you want to do is you just want to click on this little icon which says um, you just event pan crop. And then this window pops up, and you just want to go to the bottom and you want to click on mask. And as you can see, you know the F, the letter F, and all those lines are gonna disappear when I click on mask. As you can see. And then you just want to click on anchor creation tool. The next thing you want to do, you can you can make it bigger if you want to, to make it easier. Um, so I'm just going to drag it and then the first thing, yeah, the, the thing you want to do is start masking. So you just want to cut yourself out, which I'm going to do right now. As you can see, I'm just going to start cutting myself out. Uh, not that precise, but this is just for showing purpose only. It doesn't need to be done uh, that perfectly. And in order to, um, you know, drag this around, you just want to hold control and then you can just drag it. Okay, so let's move on with the masking. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and then I'm just going to go all the way around my head let's see around with the hair and stuff I want to pick everything of that it's actually pretty boring work but yeah we, you need to do it if you want to remove the background in you know Sony Vegas so just pick everything on my hair boom let's go around with my sunglasses it's a little bit like not to to the line but that's but that's okay that's just for sh to show you guys usually when i do this mask it's not that i do not i don't do it very often but when i do i just put on some music you know some chill stuff or whatever just because you don't need to edit sound so you don't need to listen carefully to anything so i just you know put on some music as you can, uh, as you can see so boom boom there we go my arm so i just want to go back to where we started. All right, so once you've done that, you just wanna go back to this, as you can see, and you just wanna click back on this guy. Boom. And as you can see, I am fully cut out. As you can see, I just cut out myself. So the background uh, turned dark. So that means we have now cut out myself. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna close this out. And then the next thing you wanna do, as you can see, boom, I have my only desk mask, like really badly, but that's not gonna do the precise for this video. I just wanna take your time. I've masked out myself. And the next thing you wanna do is pretty simple. You're pretty much done. Drag in a new background. And I'm just gonna do that one real quick. So I'm gonna look up a, um, a nice picture i'm just gonna use this green fade um and as you can see boom i'm just gonna make it a little bit taller but as you can see it is masked so that's how you replace a background so that's how simple it is so you only use the mask tool to cut yourself out and then you can just drag anything underneath it you want i'm just gonna uh, drag another drag another one as you can see that's how simple it is that's how you replace the background so if you want to see more of those sony vegas tutorials every wednesday at 12 pm pst uh, make sure to subscribe down below and if you find this video helpful make sure to just smash that like button down below i want to thank you guys for watching this sony vegas tutorial i'll see you guys next week so until then i'll see you guys very soon so that is it for the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button down below and also subscribe button at the bottom, so thank you for the continued support, if you want to see more content make sure to click right here, that's it for today, thank you guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow.